Hi, we've been chatting about the eight big ideas of the Constructionist Learning Lab and their connections to GIS education. We've been reflecting on the first three of Seymour Papert's eight big ideas behind the Constructionist Learning Laboratory and explored some connections that I believe they have to GIS and education. Now let's continue exploring the connections among the last of the big ideas. The fourth big idea is learning how to learn. Nobody can teach you everything you need to know. The notion of taking charge of your own learning fits perfectly into the lifelong learning that GIS fosters and relies upon. Just as you can't learn chemistry in a day, you're not going to master GIS in a day either. I've been using GIS for over 25 years and I'm still learning. The fifth big idea is taking time, the proper time to do the job. Many students at school get used to being told every five minutes or every hour, do this, then do that, now do the next thing. Life is not like that. To do anything important, you have to learn to manage time for yourselves, right? This is the hardest lesson for many of our students. This is all according to paper, and it makes perfect sense. A big part of being effective with GIS is proper time management, and allocating proper time to prepare and to teach any GIS-based lesson is also an important part of GIS instruction. The sixth big idea is the biggest of all. According to paper, you can't get it right without getting it wrong. Nothing important works the first time. The only way to get it right is to look carefully at what happened when it went wrong. To succeed, you need the freedom to goof along the way. Now, all of us in GIS education could write an entire essay at this point. We could go on for hours about this very point, couldn't we? GIS forces us to problem solve, making us more likely to remember how to do it the next time. Ah, we need to run that procedure in fostering key life and computer skills in the process. The seventh big idea is do unto ourselves what we do unto our students. We are learning all the time. The best lesson we can give our students is to let them see a struggle to learn. Some of the most effective GIS instructors that I know are not ashamed to tell the students that they make mistakes as well and they're on a GIS journey along with the students. The eighth big idea is we are entering a digital world where knowing about digital technology is as important as reading and writing. GIS has not only become an essential computer skill, but a critical thinking skill. Using GIS helps students learn about data types, data formats, data quality, scale, processes, phenomena, places, relationships, patterns, and much more we could name. So, let me ask you, how can you use Papert's eight big ideas, not only in your instruction, but also to advocate the importance of GIS in education to your colleagues and supervisors. Thanks.